Hello everyone, who is ready to Rick's Flix and Relax at our favorite Disney park, Hollywood Studios. But before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So by now, I'm sure everyone is aware of all the requirements, face coverings, hand washing, social distancing. So once again, our focus is having fun. What is the total experience like today at our favorite park, Disney Park? Hollywood Studios. So the first thing we are going to try to do today at this very moment, actually in like five minutes, we can try to get a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. So they have three boarding groups and they are at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 4 p.m. We of course would like to get the 10 a.m. I don't know if you can see behind us there, this is the line for Mickey's and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Currently it is closed for capacity. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. But they will, opens at 10. <laughs> they will reopen as the crowd goes through the ride though. Give you guys a little better look at the queue. All these people here, they are in line for Mickey's and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So it is three minutes until 10 a.m. That's when we can first try to get our boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. I've got to say, now as far as, as getting a park reservation, it seems like Disney's Hollywood Studios is the toughest ticket to get. And this, what we're seeing today, way more crowded than what we saw at Animal Kingdom or Magic Kingdom. But today is the very first day for like any park guest who has a reservation to get into Hollywood Studios. And Nikki was quicker than me again. She's quicker than Quick Rick. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. She got us a boarding pass for group 14, which should be pretty early in the morning. Well, what do you say? We walk on over to Galaxy's Edge, check it out for a little bit before our boarding pass is called. I love it. Let's do it. The thing is, and maybe we did not account for this, but with the new social distancing practices, is group 14 a low number or a high number? I don't think we really know yet. They're definitely not boarding 14 yet. Active ordinance deck conditions on deck three. Repeat, we are on active ordinance deck conditions. Here's Ray doing a socially distanced kind of meet and greet, just hanging out by the repair shop here. Here's Kylo and some stormtroopers again up on a platform to keep distance from us peons, us rebel scum, resistant scum. I have to give props to Kylo. He was way ahead of the curve on this face covering thing. As we wait for our boarding pass to be called, we might as well continue deep into Galaxy's Edge and check on the wait time for Smuggler's Run. Seems to be about a 15 to 20 minute wait for Smuggler's Run. So we're just gonna hop inside this queue. Initiating full power up sequence. <laughs> I don't think they're mixing parties, so we'll see how this goes with who gets to be a pilot or a gunner and all that jazz. Brand new flight crew. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxium. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Mm. 
now after my modest profit, your cut minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad. We have a Corellian freighter that needs immediate transport back to the maintenance bay. Okay. This thing's seen better days. Better fix all that before the Wookiee sees it. Okay, Nikki, you were the left pilot, right? Yes. So you steered us left and right. Yes. We had a lot of collisions. I had fun. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's right, and Chewie was so proud of us, so. He was proud. Yeah. The cool thing with the social distancing rules now is that we had our choice to be pilots or gunners because they weren't mixing groups. Right. So that's a nice little change. It is, you get it all to yourself, it's awesome. Now, we both chose to be pilots. I guess we could have switched it up. You be a pilot, I be a gunner, because a lot right. of the stuff went on automatic. Yeah, it did. So we, as we were piloting, we had automatic gunners and engineers. And there were a couple times I wanted to jump into Nikki's seat and control left and right because she was crashing into all types of things. That's not fair. I don't play video games a whole lot. Uh, but it was fun though. I mean, hey, I made the ride more enjoyable. Now when we got in line, we walked right in, but I'm gonna show you the queue right here. It backs all the way up around the Falcon to uh, right over here where this yellow sign is. So yeah, that was a look at the line. We went to the app and saw what the wait time was because it wasn't listed out front. Right, it wasn't. The app says 55 minutes. And it's 10.40, so 40 minutes of the park opening, that's the line already. That's yep. insane compared to what we experienced at Animal Kingdom and uh, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I guess they're switching it up and adding more times in for, or more people. I guess. I don't, I don't know. know, but well, this park did fill up with reservations faster than anything else. That's true, and it's full multiple days. Yes. So, something to be aware of. But I want to go on record. Before Toy Story Land was here, before Galaxy's Edge was here, we always said this was our favorite park. Yes. People, <laughs> people are finally jumping on board with us. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Yes. <laughs> It's now 1047, 47 minutes after we got our boarding pass time, our group, and uh, one more bar to go. So I think we have time to do Star Tours. On second thought, while the outside sign said five minutes, it's really a 25 minute wait. Yeah, none of the outside signs are accurate at all. No. So you're gonna have to constantly check the app. Check the app. So 25 minutes, a bit too long. So I think we'll go back and kind of just hang out until our boarding pass number is called. It's close, we're getting close. closer. We're close, one little, one little dot to go, line to go. One dot to go! Rise of the Resistance is currently boarding groups one through 11. We're 14, so we're almost there. So I just found a little quiet spot in the shade to enjoy this little Coke. I love the bottles, they're so cute. Also, it's a chance to take off the face covering. All done. Now, normally I would keep the bottle because they're so cute, but uh, it's too early in the day just to carry this around all day. Still groups two through 11. What do you say? Because once they call your group, you have an hour to actually use your boarding pass. Why don't we go just wander over to Toy Story Land and check on the wait time for Slinky Dog. Sounds like a plan. I must admit, I was spoiled by Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. The wait time for Slinky Dog Dash, 65 minutes. I don't think we're gonna get as much done today as we thought we were gonna get done. The big wait times are back. <laughs> they are. So a little uh, downside to the aspect of not having fast passes and not being able to plan our day, just come here and do standby, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were ones to really utilize those fast passes, those three fast passes we would get. Yeah. To kind of have, at least have an idea, at least three fun things we could do. So, uh, this is a little sketchy right now. Yeah. Hey, howdy, hey! My name is Woody. You new to these parts? Well, I hope you enjoy playing with toys, because it's playtime! Before we leave Toy Story Land, uh, check this out. This is the construction on the new restaurant they're building for Toy Story Land, which I believe will be a barbecue place. Please wear face coverings. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distancing. Thank you. The posted wait time for Tower of Terror, 25 minutes. We're gonna give it a try, see if it's really 25 minutes, or maybe it's quicker. 
super fun first time back on TOT in months and months yeah and it took about I think 15 minutes oh nice and while we were getting on the elevator we got notification that our boarding pass is called for rise of the resistance so we're just gonna go straight over there and top on that ride too fun times Now in line for Rise of the Resistance. Cargo vessel TR-141, identify yourselves, prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Escape. You will tell me the location of the secret base, and then I will destroy you. 
astronauts came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. And there we are. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, honey? Oh, such a blast. Oh my goodness. Favorite part is still that drop. Yes, exactly. Sorry I screamed. <laughs> I knew it was coming and I still like, ah, it's so fun. One of the best attractions they have in like all of Orlando, really. Oh, absolutely. So it took us, now we, when we first got into the park at 10, we signed up for our boarding pass. Yes. And it took about an hour and 45 minutes. Right. And then it took about 25 minutes once we got into the queue yep. to get onto the actual riding cart. Right. So. But there's some pre-show along the way that's pretty entertaining. Yeah, and air conditioning, so. <laughs> and now, what do you think, Slinky Dog Gush? Yeah, it's 40, so let's time it and see if we can't maybe do it in 30. Yeah. If you don't mind, press that start button. All right, let's see how long it takes. So it took just over 20 minutes to get onto the vehicle. Difference. Yeah, first time in the front row. Well, it's the opposite of what we usually do. Usually we're the back row. Yeah. Now from the rider point of view, I think it was still fun. Yeah, I mean being right behind Twinky Dog's head. <laughs> yeah, so as but for you guys, me doing the POV, I don't know if the view was as good. Right, because all you see is the back of Slinky Dog's head. <laughs> I tried to change up the angle a little bit, but <laughs> we'll see. You know what you should do? You should go check out a video I did, the ultimate Disney roller coaster mashup. Yeah, that's pretty good one. Where I put like all the roller coasters together in one shot. I'll go. leave a link up to it above Nikki's head. Go check that out. And I should point out that there are two relaxation stations at Hollywood Studios for when you're ready to Rick's Flicks and relax. There's one over here by Star Wars Launch Bay. And then the other one is in Galaxy's Edge, very near Rise of the Resistance. All in all, I would say a good first day back for Hollywood Studios. Agreed. What's your thoughts? I thought it was awesome. Uh, we were surprised by the wait times. I mean, in general, because of the past two experiences, but uh, it seemed like they were overestimating the times by probably 10 minutes. Yes, yes. So that wasn't bad. And again, food, super limited, and it takes a really long time, so you gotta have a lot of patience for that. Yeah, a lot of these smaller little food places are closed. Right, and then even snacks. Getting yeah. snacks in the park, there's like, and um, all the shops pretty much like to get maybe clothing and things like that, there might be one or two open. She wanted a snack when we left and we couldn't find a good snack on the way out. <laughs> well, we shared the pizza, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other thoughts would be the safety precautions Disney has, has taken at all the parks, very good. Yeah. I feel very safe. Yeah, totally. Tons of hand sanitizer around. Yeah, and there's not been one where it's been empty. So and, they've all been on top of yep. everything. And the plexiglass use in switchbacks is great. The social distancing that everyone is adhering to uh, in the queue is very good. So no question on that end of things. Oh, definitely. It's all so, great. Yeah. Uh, the rides are fun. The wait times here were a little longer. Yeah. 
a little longer. Yeah, it's a smaller park though, so it fills up, you know, probably a lot easier. True, and we had to wait until 10 o'clock. It didn't open until 10. That's true. So, and we're usually early park people. Yeah. All the all the people who get to sleep in, they made it on time today. <laughs> they did. <laughs> uh, so I think that's going to do it, right? Yep. And we got a little horn going on there. <laughs> so I think that's going to conclude our visit. And by the way, oh, the old school people? Yeah, you noticed the Jeep there. <laughs> Had I known it was going to be in the video, I would have watched it. <laughs> uh, but where was I? I was going to let you do the outro. Hit it. And with all that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Right on.